I know what you're thinking. Another video about reselling? Just keeps coming up. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another episode of Ash Bash Waffles On. And today's topic again is about the whole reselling thing. So first of all, uh, sorry for not putting out videos lately. I've been hella, hella busy uh, with work. And if you've seen one of my vlogs a while back, I was talking about my house, how it was in a state because I had a leak downstairs. It's finally getting fixed. So basically my whole living room downstairs and the whole kitchen is upstairs in the spare room. So it's a bit of a mess logistically at the moment. So I've not got around to doing much of anything. So for like a couple of days, I couldn't actually walk downstairs in my own house. So I've got so many videos to do. Hopefully I'll get them done ASAP. But I picked up some fire stuff. But forget about that. Let's talk about some reselling stuff. So on the weekend, I think it was either Saturday or Sunday, I posted a little, I think it was Sunday, because it was a little morning rant about the whole reselling thing. Got a lot of traction from the people that I follow. Over the mod comments were saying, yeah, pretty much agree with what you said. So in case you don't follow me and all that, I'm gonna sort of go over what I was talking about. So basically my first idea, which was not really to combat reselling, but it was just a thing. I said, wouldn't it be cool if the likes of Nike or Jordan brand, whatever, instead of just releasing sneakers, whatever numbers, we don't know what numbers are gonna be, making stuff limited so people can't even pick them up. The fact they had a not for resale pair that was limited, which is gonna make people resell it. Bit crazy, but that was happening. So my suggestion was, why not do sort of like a pre-order system? Probably logistically, it will be maybe impossible to do, especially right now, but maybe in the future. But basically the idea was, say for example, there's a pair of Jordans coming out. They can like put it in a store or maybe just have loads of info online so you can see the shoe. Do you want it? Do you not want it? Maybe you can even have it one uh, in the store that people can try on so you can get an idea if they want it or not. Then have a pre-order system, maybe for two, three, four months time. I don't know how long it takes to produce a shoe and all that sort of stuff. But basically that way, you can have, say for example, the shoes that are coming out, the Union AJ1s. You can put out and say, pre-order, open for a week. Do you want them? Yes or no? This is the price, sign up. Then you sign up. They can then make either exactly the amount of pairs that are needed or maybe a couple over just to be safe. But after that, if a reseller wants to resell it, that's gonna be on you because you had the chance to pre-order it if you wanted a pair. If you didn't, you missed out. It is what it is, but that was kind of a way of sort of curbing the whole, let me buy it now and resell it straight away kind of thing. And I thought it would be a cool idea, maybe with the whole Adidas 4D stuff where they can 3D print stuff, maybe when 3D printing sneakers is a thing, that will probably be a thing as well where they can sort of pre-order and just make to measure for what's happening. I can't remember who it was in my DMs that was chatting about how Nike goes around doing stuff. They were saying that's why you find like, say if the safaris come out, you find safari print thrown on other stuff because they just got leftover material and they're just using it and stuff like that. I don't know if that's how exactly it works, but it kind of makes sense to how things can be. And even when they're doing the hybrid soles and all that sort of stuff, but that's another subject. But yeah, reselling again. Uh, I shouldn't moan so much about reselling because me, myself, I wouldn't say that I'm lucky, but I pretty much have done pretty well this year anyways for a lot of stuff that I've needed. I've not had to pay resell that much for anything crazy, I don't think. So it's been a pretty good year for pickups to be fair, but this weekend, those two pairs of sneakers that I really wanted, oh no, three pairs of sneakers that I really wanted. I managed to get one pair of sneakers, but the A6 times A few, Koi in orange, orange colorway, really wanted that. L's, L's, L's galore. That's now on StockX and whatnot for 450. Shout out to you guys making your money, but I don't like you. But that happened, and then there was the Diodora times Mighty Crown times Meter Sneaker N9002. Really wanted that as well. Again, another L. Resellers on there for now for 300 plus, and it's just, it's frustrating. Again, I was talking to somebody again today about sort of reselling because they were thinking about getting rid of some stuff, and I was like, he was saying to me, does that mean I'm a reseller if I'm getting rid of this stuff? And I'm like, 
Not really, because you're not like these people that are literally running from store to store, uh, Foot Locker, pick up a pair, uh, running to size, pick up a pair, running to Foot Patrol, picking up a pair, just to flip it. You're buying stuff that you like, and if you want to get rid of it in the future, in a couple weeks or months or whatever, because you think you're not going to wear it, it is what it is. It wasn't your purpose to buy it, to make a profit 100%. But I always go back to the whole idea that while I knock resellers, I get it. You're going to make money. If you can buy a pair and you're going to make yourself like a grand or something silly like that, fair enough. But these people that are running from store to store with nine pairs of sneakers, just like overnight making 10, 20 pounds, what are you doing with your life? Fix up. Stop being B-Tech. Be, get a job or something because this is just silly. And it really sucks because the Jordan 1 Rookie of the Years that came out was pretty much a GR. But you've got people like buying 20, 10 pairs of GRs. What are you doing? Now people that really wanted a pair can't get it. Even though it was like a mass release, people that want a pair are still missing out. I was hoping that everyone I knew picked up a pair. But I've seen a few people that missed out unfortunately and that sucks. But that's one of those things. I kind of got lucky with that. I actually hit on sneakers myself. My girl hit on sneakers for me and two mates as well also hit for me as well. So I ended up thinking I'm not going to get a pair to end up getting four. But then I hear people that didn't get any and I'm like, oh, that's a piss take. Just because some dude who didn't give a damn about Jordans at all has got in there first and got his pair. But the never ending cycle, a lot of people I see are like just getting pissed off the whole sneaker game. But it ain't going nowhere while there's money to be made people will be out there making money and it is what it is but uh shout out to the people they know who they are i'm full of um, i've got lately not so full of i've got um lately talking to a lot of people a lot of safe safe people that are doing like retail hookups and all that i love that, that movement is growing there's loads of groups nowadays that i'm seeing that people helping each other out for pickups and all that so that is dope i hope that continues the bigger that gets, the more it sort of slows down people actually having to pay resale and all that sort of stuff. So salute to all my guys and salute to everyone else that's in little groups like that and stuff. But yeah, another little topic of me waffling on resellers again. Never ending debate. <laughs> I know some people that resell and I don't hate them at all. It's just is what it is. I get it, but it sure is a pain sometimes. Anywho, hopefully I can get on my grind and get some sneaker videos out because I've picked up some absolute fire and I've just been sitting there not doing a review for them yet so hopefully I can get that done and yeah follow me on Instagram Ashbash Sneakers Twitter's Perfection7 all the details to outfit sizes anything Instagram all that sort of stuff is down below in the description the music whatever whatever I'm out let it go